Hey guys and welcome to today's video and i like to uh, introduce today's video and learning a new way of markers and have that sketchy feel to them and learning new techniques. I love learning anything I can get my hands on. Um, so for today's video, um, I like to go over how I like to use markers in a new way by having that sketchy feel to them. Kind of like have a rough sketch, but colored for sketch, if you know what I mean, by using a, basically, a red colored pencil first, or anything like that, or just something in colored pencil first, and then lay down the markers after it, instead of inking and pencil work, like regular graphite pencil work, um, and with the needed eraser, but the reason I like to do this technique is because it gets sketchy feel to it, to get, have fun, relax. And so we'll see that demonstration later in the video today. So stick to the end for other videos as well of mine if you like um, my channel and everything. So uh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, and we'll get started with the video. Hey guys, and welcome to today's video, um, which is a new way on how I use markers and to get that sketchy feel to them. And what I do is I use a red color pencil, and I learned this with my watercolor technique. And so I'm like, huh, I wonder if I could use that with markers too. So it turns out that you can. So I am so excited um, for this new sketchy feel to them. And then you just ink it after and color them. So here's an example of... Um, and you see it, this is day eight, tree decor, there is a unicorn. So, uh, with that being said, here's this one. So, I'm going to test it again with uh, my characters, uh, Theo and Cosmo. So, I tested it again. Um, so, I had a lot of fun with this. Um, it's just a sketchy feel, so it looks a little cleaner. Uh, but I went in with the red color pencil and then markers and then which you'll see and um, the demonstration or the speed drawing part. But I was having a lot of fun these set of markers I'm using um, for my, uh, here's the ballpoint pen I'm using and markers and basically like that. So for today's video, I thought I would do day nine, uh, which is Rainbow and Unicorn and I'm really happy with this. It looks so sketchy. Um, because I love the, uh, circles there, too, and normally I would, you know, sketch the whole sketch out on a different piece of paper, transfer it as I talked about last night's video, um, but I went ahead to get that sketchy feel to it, went ahead and just sketch on the paper, final paper, um, with that being said, so, um, this is day nine, rainbows, I'm very happy with it, so, um, yeah, so, You'll see in the demonstration of how I use uh, the red color pencil first and then markers after. Um, instead of using uh, graphite pencil, pen, uh, ink, um, and go from there. So there's basically two ways to use markers. Um, so I was really excited. I'm glad learning new techniques and everything. So, um, so I like to just learn new techniques how I use my materials. So um, this might you know, be a live stream in the near future or something. So, yeah, if you like what you see here, continue watching the video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stick to the end of the video for other videos as well of mine um, that, you know, like to do or like to watch or something. So, yeah, so I love learning new techniques such as this. Um, so, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and continue watching. Hey guys, and welcome to this part of the video where I do the speed drawing <clears throat> part of it. So I've started with a yellow marker, and some of these are alcohol, some of these are not, but uh, markers. I still use the same techniques and everything for it, but I started out with the red uh, color pencil sketch to make it sketchy. Um, so yeah, I learned this technique from my watercolor. Um, and then at the end, I go over with my ballpoint pen. Um, instead of doing pencil first, graphite, pencil on, and liner, and then 
just another way to work. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Sorry if the video kept out of focusing or something. I don't know why it was um, kind of, you know, weird. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this little video I have going here. So um, I really don't have much else to say except this is the coloring technique. Uh, definitely give it a try. If you want to, some tips on how you can achieve this look is basically with a color pencil first. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Oh, by the way, uh, this is day nine of Unicorn um, for Rainbow, um, Rainbow Unicorns, and that's why the rainbows. Um, so I'm still going strong with the challenge, and hopefully I'll, I'll be able to finish two challenges. Um, one with mermaid and then this one was unicorn. So, yeah. So, I had to do unicorn and there's a cradle of markers. So, uh, yeah. So, this is fineliner here. So, uh, I first I thought I was going to go for a pastel uh, rainbow, but I don't want to be like, you can't draw rainbows or something. But, anyway, that's beyond the point of trying to make. But, here's the ballpoint pen. If you guys are new here, don't forget to comment, subscribe, uh, share the video. Uh, very important to share the video. Um, so, yeah. So, here's the ballpoint pen. Um, I love the ballpoint pen. I can't say enough about it because it's, uh, for, uh, what's the word? I can't even say it. So, um, don't forget to like, comment, and share the video. And don't forget to stick to the end for other videos as well. So, Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to share if you're new here and do cartoon drawing stuff um, like that. So watch the other videos at the end, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.